Hello Mysterious person behind the screen. So, I've got one week left of my summer holidays next week. And next week I'm in uh, Menorth, Mel Menorca. Well, I've got two weeks. I've got this week and next week. And next week I'm in Menorca. So I thought this would be a good time to just showcase what I've bought over this summer. So, uh, I'm going to start off with Pops first. Um, so, uh, most of them are Doctor Who, but I've got one that isn't. So let's just start off with the fourth Doctor, Andragon Toys exclusive, with Jelly Babies in his hand. Um, now, I got this from Forbidden Planet International, and uh, it was on their site, and I thought I was never going to get this, because obviously it's convention exclusive, whatever. But it was on there for, um, I think it was ten ninety nine, and I thought, oh, okay, let's see how much the shipping is, it might be really expensive. But on Forbidden Planet International, they're offering a deal where you can get all all uh, Funko Pops from anything. You have free shipping on them. So I got this for ten ninety nine. It's such a good figure, much better than the standard one, I think. And um, yeah, it's, I'm just so glad I got this, especially because I ordered it and then about a week. I thought I haven't even got an email saying it's dispatched yet. So I emailed Forbidden Planet International saying what's going on. And within half an hour, they sent an email saying that they dispatched it. So that makes me think they forgot it, to be honest. But, all right. Um, okay, so next pop I have is the one I reviewed a couple of weeks ago. The Big TARDIS, 6-inch. Again, really good one. If you want to hear my full thoughts on it, go to the review. Um, yeah, not much to say. Just really good pop there. And the final one for this video is Ant-Man. Um, now, I got this the other day because um, I went to the orthodontist and she sort of tore my mouth apart and it really hurt quite a bit. So I decided to get this because I needed to cheer myself up, to be honest. So I got it from HMV and I was, I'm really impressed with it. You can see his eyes uh, underneath the mask there and it's quite translucent. And it's a really good effect and yeah, I, I just really like this pop. Okay, so moving away from the pops, I got the Batman Arkham Knight Batman figure from DC Collectibles. Um, and I really like this figure as well. I love the game, um, although I think it has got a lot of flaws, the Batmobile. Um, and I probably think, still think Arkham City is the best one. But the the game was still amazing, so and it's really nice to have this figure. I wasn't actually a fan of his suit in the game. I thought it was too bulky and too Iron Man-y. And way too much stuff going on. But on the figure, it's actually not bad. Because they've sort of taken away all the armour look to it. But yeah, I really like this figure and really good accessories with it as well. It came with the Batarang. And you can see by his foot there, the line launcher. And, uh, yeah, I'm just really glad I got this figure. But his shoulder pad there, it kind of snapped off uh, a few weeks back. So I was just sort of lent that on there, and I'm keeping him in this pose for a while. Picked up two of the B&M exclusive Doctor Who figure sets that appeared a few weeks back. And I really love these, especially the fourth Doctor one, because these figures are awesome. I haven't got any of the figures in here. And um, you got the Vok robot with destroyed Vok head. Uh, accessory. Uh, you've got uh, the fourth Doctor from City of Death, and I actually didn't realise once I got this out of the box, I found out that his scarf, you can take his scarf off to reveal the badge that he wears in that story, and that's a really nice touch. And you have the Decayed Master from City of Death with the uh, gun accessory that he shoots the Doctor and the Castellan with in that story as well so yeah this is a really really nice set and i also bought the tenth doctor figure set with the cyberman with a new paint job the tenth doctor with a brand new face cop that looks a lot like david tennant like the hair and everything and main reason for getting the set was for the sarah jane figures i haven't got any figures of sarah jane and it was just a really uh, good figure and so, let's be fair, a 5 inch figure nowadays goes for like £20, so to get 3 in a set for twelve ninety nine, you can't go wrong with these, go out and buy them. I'm probably not going to get the 11th Doctor set, just because the 11th Doctor I've got before, and the Weeping Angels, I can't justify getting two other Weeping Angels. They may look different, but nah, I'm just not going to get it. Uh, early in the holidays I got the Journal of Impossible Things from the story Human Nature uh, slash Family of Blood from the 10th Doctor's era. 
And um, I saw some B&M again. I, well, I forget. Seven ninety nine. that's how much it was. And it also came with a crappy uh, Tenth Doctor Sonic with no sound effects, just an LED in, which was... I don't know where that is. I kind of lost that. But I just wanted this journal because it's a really nice thing. I've been after it for ages. So when in P&M's and I saw it for um, seven ninety nine, I had to buy it. So let's just unravel this here. That annoys me for a start, that legal stuff. Anyway, we get in here, Journal of Impossible Things, and it presses me about this. Paul Cornell actually went out of his way to write pages for this. And we only saw a glimpse of it in the TV story. So it's really cool that we actually get, that we actually get to read what we only saw briefly, very briefly, in fact, in the episode. And, you know, it, it comes with pages to fill in your own. Like you can fill your own stuff in there, but I'm, I'm going to keep it like it is for a while because um, Vote Saxon raised this point, and this point in the story, you know, that, that's it. I don't think he would, John Smith would have wrote any more because obviously the events of that story. So it's it's just a nice thing, really. Yes, it's the wrong colour, and yes, it's completely out of scale. Uh, it should have been a lot bigger, but you know, it's nice to have. You can't really complain, really. Uh, you should know about these because I did a whole video on them. I bought, obviously, the Pixar limited edition Blu-rays. Ignoring that. And finally, I bought the Mind Robber on DVD. Again, a really good story. I love this story. I watched it for the first time a few weeks back and I really enjoyed it. I think it's really good. The idea that it used to cover up Fraser Hines' illness was really cool. Freaking ingenious, in fact. And, yeah, I just think it's a really good story. So, I hope you enjoyed looking to what I got this summer. Um, it's probably the last video for a bit now, because, obviously, Menorca. I may do something up there, but probably not. So, um, yes, if you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on my next one. Take care now.